Hi, I'm Gabrielle Prendergast. I'm an author of books for children and teens. And uh, my latest YA series is this one, Zero Repeat Forever, which is the first book, and Cold Falling White, the sequel. And they are about an alien boy and a human girl uh, after an alien invasion. Technically, they should hate each other, but they need to learn to trust each other if they're going to survive. And my first YA series is this one, Audacious and the sequel, Capricious. And this concerns an outcast girl called Ella, a new school, big plans to change her life, what could go wrong, everything. So we've been asked to talk about some writing tips, and I wanted to tell you a few things. Um, one thing is to think about when you're writing, when you're starting, make sure that you have the three things that you need in place before you really launch into it, and that is character, setting, and plot. And the main, most important thing is character. So you can imagine mixing them up. So let's say you had a list of characters that had a daycare worker and a high school junior and um, maybe a hockey player. Any of those characters could be in any setting and could be in any plot. So you could picture that a hockey player in, say, a daycare setting is going to be different than a daycare worker in a daycare setting. The other thing that's important is to know your character because who your character is all their details, all their thoughts, everything that they know, everything they've learned, their background, is going to inform how the plot proceeds. If somebody is a soldier and they're working in a daycare center and that daycare center is attacked by aliens, they're going to react differently than if that person is a daycare worker working in a daycare center and that daycare center is attacked by aliens. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is something that you might do a little further into your writing, and that's what I call finding the myth. And finding the myth means thinking about what myths and what well-known stories inform your story. So many stories are based on really archetypal and primal stories that are familiar within our culture, within other cultures, that go back historically. So stuff like fairy tales, ancient myths, that kind of thing. And figuring out which of those might fit into your story. Maybe your whole story or maybe part of your story, aspects of your character development is really going to help you. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. When you think about an enemies to lover, for example, love story, those are uh, very common. They're very popular in romance. We see them in YA also. You have to think about what actual kind of enemies to lover romance am I doing? And a couple of options, for example, are Romeo and Juliet or Beauty and the Beast. And you can see how those would be really different in the way that they played out. And picking one of them to help to inform your story it's going to give you all kinds of ideas about building your characters and building your world. So in Zero Repeat Forever, for example, I base this um, loosely on the idea of Beauty and the Beast. So having done that, obviously the dynamic between Raven and Ace, the alien, is going to be sort of based on the dynamic between Beauty and the Beast, but other stuff comes into play. So the idea of books and sharing books, which is a big part of the Beauty and the Beast story, especially the Disney version, that comes into play in Zero Repeat Forever. And in fact, the sharing of the book actually is where the title comes from. So if you've read the book, you know. And if you haven't read the book, you should read it and find out what the title means. So always think about the myth and, and um, how you can incorporate that into your story as you get further into it and start putting on the layers of all the details of the world building, of the characters, of the, of the setting, of even of the plot, any of those things, if you're looking for inspiration as you write, choosing a myth to help to inform it will really help you. Think about all the books that are based on the Cinderella myth, all the stories that are based on enemies to lovers like Romeo and Juliet. So these are very, very um, universal ideas that are familiar to a lot of people, and you'll find them in uh, European culture and African culture and Asian culture and all cultures all over the world, different types of myths that have common themes. And those are things that you can mine for ideas of how you're going to develop your story. If you had four characters, for example, you could go into thinking about defining those characters as individuals from each other and look at something more recent and think, okay, maybe one of them's a Gryffindor, one of them's a Ravenclaw, one of them's a Hufflepuff, and one of them's a Slytherin. Suddenly you have this dynamic of these four characters and details and a way of of building those characters and making them distinctive from each other. So hopefully that will help you with your writing. Good luck with it. Stay safe and have a great rest of the spring and summer. Bye.